Kevin, a really good opening day, victory over at the Flair Stadium, getting one over Liam Finn's old side in the Dewsbury Rams. Is that the perfect way to open our Betfred Championship account for the year? Yeah, it was the perfect way, having a, having a win from the first game on a tough pitch. It was like uh, raining on, on sand. It wasn't easy. We knew it wouldn't be easy. So it was good to, to knock this one off and uh, get some confidence for the Bulls game. Well, obviously, we've had one league game, but we're going to go straight back into the Betfred Challenge Cup. It's another game at the Shea, but this time it's a little bit different to the amateurs and the championship teams we've played. Um, your fellow countrymen, the Catalan Dragons, coming to town, Super League Grand Finalists last year. Is this a really good game to sort of set a barometer and a level of where we want to be at and to compete really high, would you say? Yeah, that'll be a big uh, step up. Obviously, we played two amateur teams the, the two rounds before, so that's what I'm going for. Going from amateur team to uh, the last finalist in the uh, Super League, there's a big, big jump. But it will be a, a good challenge for us. Um, obviously, a few of us will play Super League before, so it will be good to see where we are. Um, how far are we now or are we close? Uh, but also, we have some young players who are aspire to play in Super League one day, so it will be a big test for them to get on, onto the spotlight and, uh, and showcase what, what they can do. And uh, hopefully as well, it will be a good opportunity to have the backup from, uh, from the fan. Because that was the, the downside playing that match team. It didn't bring many, many people. So hopefully uh, the, it's quite attractive this weekend and uh, we'll, be, we'll be well supported. Liam Finn mentioned in his interview that we're no strangers to these type of games, having obviously played St Helens down at the Shea in the same round last year. But just how different of a challenge do a team like Catalan pose to us? I think it will be very similar because uh, St Helens they were very physical, especially in the pack. If you look at the Catalan's pack, it will be exactly the same. Uh, it will be very physical, um, but o o otherwise, yeah, it will be good to, to compete against one, one of the best teams uh, in the Super League. Um, g give our best and, uh, and, and all the rest will be bonus. You know, Toulouse like yourself, a proud Frenchman, is this the dream draw to have a, be able to have a crack against um, your hometown's rivals in a sense? Well, the, big, the dream draw will be Catalan away. On the uh, around the sea, but no, it, it was good when the, when the draw came out. Uh, I was happy. Always good to, to play against uh, a French team. I still got um, players to play for Catalan that, that I know, uh, so it'll be good to, to see them. Uh, have a bit of banter in French during the game as well. That'll be uh, appreciated. Yeah, no, always good to uh, to play against uh, a French team. And finally, you touched on it there. It's another game at the Shea. Good chance for the fans to get down and really get behind the boys. There's, there's um, Ellie Sachs playing before the game. There's, there's sure to be lots of build-up in the match, so you must be hoping that they get there in numbers and get behind the boys for, like we said, what is a massive test? Yeah, it will be... It, having the fans behind us is, uh, is very important. Uh, obviously, we have high ambition for, for this year, and uh, year on and year on, the championship is getting a bit more, more competitive and uh, making our place a fortress that it will be very hard to, to come and win. If, if you don't have fans behind you to, to back you up, it's, it, it will be very hard. So it be a good test for them to, uh, to, get, uh, to, to practice and, uh, and, and get behind us uh, because we will need them for all the way this season. Kevin, bon chance. Very best of luck. Merci. A bientôt. A samedi.